Raytheon has just pushed the F-15 EX Eagle II into a different league. Meet the APG-82VX, a gallium nitride active electronically scanned array radar that pairs a much denser transmit-receive architecture with a faster open architecture processor, and in doing so, it changes how a fourth-generation fighter senses, shoots, and survives in highly contested airspace. The story begins with the APG-82V1, the radar that moved the F-15E Strike Eagle into the ESA era by combining proven elements from earlier arrays. The APG-82VX takes that baseline and amplifies it. Gallium nitride, or GAN, sits at the heart of the upgrade. Compared with older gallium arsenide components, GAN tolerates higher voltages and temperatures, boosts output power for a given input, and shrinks component size. The practical result is longer detection ranges, wider frequency agility, and better resilience to electronic attack, without demanding a new power plant from the aircraft. That raw hardware advantage is unlocked by a modern processor and open architecture software. Rapid switching between air-to-air, -air, air air-to-ground, and electronic warfare modes means crews can hunt cruise missiles and swarms of small unmanned aerial vehicles while simultaneously mapping the ground and prosecuting long-range targets. The APG-82VX was designed to give pilots a first-look, first-shoot advantage, spotting threats earlier and queuing weapons and linked assets faster than before. Low probability of intercept, or LPI, is another headline capability. By operating more agilely across frequency bands and employing sophisticated waveform management, the radar makes it harder for adversary sensors to detect and geolocate the emitting aircraft. Paired with the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, the APG-82VX not only sees farther, it helps the F-15EX avoid being seen in the first place. That combination turns a non-stealthy, highly capable platform into a much harder target in both standoff and stand-in scenarios. One of the clearest operational impacts is on missile integration and engagement philosophy. With longer reach and faster track updates, the F-15EX can get the most from long-range air-to-air weapons such as the AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air Missile and future successors. If missiles extend reach, radars must keep pace. The APG-82VX is explicitly meant to do exactly that, enabling effective standoff engagements while also improving survivability when commanders elect to operate closer to threats. Open architecture also means the radar is a sensor fusion node. It can feed and ingest data from other platforms and ground systems to create a composite battle space picture. That has direct implications for the loyal wingman concept. We can expect the F-15EX to control loyal wingman unmanned aerial vehicles, using the radar's processing power and networking to task, queue, and coordinate a swarm of cooperative drones. Those unmanned wingmen can extend sensing, provide decoys, carry weapons, or perform suppression tasks. Effectively multiplying the reach and lethality of a single crewed jet while keeping pilots further from the most dangerous threats. Beyond pure performance, the APG-82VX was designed with logistics and upgrades in mind. The form, fit, and function are compatible with current F-15EX installations, while modularity allows selective retrofits into older APG-82 systems over time. That helps manage sustainment and supply chain risk as component obsolescence becomes more acute. It also means international customers and service fleets can phase in capabilities without a platform-level redesign. What this adds up to is a significant force multiplier. The F-15EX equipped with a GAN AESA, an advanced processor, robust LPI modes, and close integration with electronic warfare suites moves from being a pure weapons truck to a networked sensor shooter that can orchestrate unmanned teammates. In contested regions where long-range missiles, advanced fighters, and sophisticated ground-based defenses exist, that combination increases decision speed, engagement reach, and ultimately survivability. This is not about replacing stealth or fifth-generation doctrine. Rather, it is about making fourth-generation airframes far more relevant by combining sensor advances, electronic warfare, and networked autonomy. The APG-82VX promises to keep the F-15EX lethal and adaptable for the next phase of high-end conflict, and to serve as a backbone for coordinated operations with loyal wingman UAVs and other distributed systems.